Storytime Stump have you ever done something you just can't explain? About a month ago that's exactly what happened to me. I tried giving CPR to a headless woman and I lost my job as a firefighter because of it. This all started when my department gets a call for a fire on the 14th floor of a hotel. So we all load up in the truck and get over there. When we get to the hotel it's completely evacuated and even though the fire is 14 stories up the lobby is filled with smoke. There was no way to tell where exactly the fire was. So me and the three other guys just had to start on the 14th floor and check every room. We were the first truck to arrive so the four of us split up since there are over 30 rooms on the one floor. I checked the first five rooms and nothing. Weirdly they're all smoke free, with no signs of fire at all. But when I got to the sixth room, that's when everything changed. As soon as I opened the door I was hit with some of the thickest smoke I had ever experienced. I could hardly see three steps in front of me so I thought I had found where the fire was. But as I started looking around I couldn't find any signs of an actual fire. No heat, no smell and I couldn't hear any crackling. I was about to go to the next room when I saw her. There was a girl laying on the bed and she seemed to be uncomfortable. Conscious. When I got closer to her I realized she wasn't breathing so I radioed to the other guys to let them know, and then I started CPR. Every single thing about the CPR felt completely normal to me. I remember tilting her head back and pinching her nose. But when one of the other guys came into the room and found me, he started screaming, asking me what I was doing, and then I could feel him pulling me away from her, and I was pissed. We started fighting, and he kept screaming at me, telling me I was sick, and then he turned me around so I could see the bed where the girl was. I started to go right back into the CPR, but that's when I could finally see see everything as it actually was. The room wasn't smoky but clear like all the others I checked. There were weird symbols scratched into the ceiling, the floors, the walls everywhere. And the worst part was of course the girl I had just been giving CPR to. She looked exactly the way I expected, except there was nothing but a leaking stump where her head should have been. All at once I could taste the metal in my mouth, and I could feel that my face, chin, and neck were wet. The guy who came in and pulled me off of her was still looking at me like I was a monster, but all I could remember was giving regular CPR. I ended up being forced to leave the fire department. To this day I still can't explain it. I have no idea why I did what I did, but I do know, I'll always be the guy who gave CPR to a stump.